Hey guys, I'm the Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, Apple has recently released iOS 15.4, which means what's next? Well, iOS 15.5. Apple has been on a roll. So in this video, I want to talk about what to expect with Apple's next major update, iOS 15.5. Now, this is not to say that Apple won't be releasing minor software updates to iOS 15.4 before we see 15.5. For example, Apple could release 15.4.1, 15.4.2 before we see 15.5. But in this video, we're going to focus on the next major update, which we could see the first beta here sooner rather than later and we'll talk about next beta and expect a release date and of course all the latest new features and changes we can expect with the next update 15.5 now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest ios news and apple software updates don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now the first thing i want to talk about is some of the latest new features we can expect apple to bring to 15.5 now believe it or not ever since apple announced ios 15 we're still missing a few features for example we still do not have the driver's license and ids feature for wallet now this feature has proven to be somewhat of a challenge for apple as local governments need to approve this one apple has a handful of states here in the united states that should start to roll out this feature to the wallet of iphone but keep in mind this is a feature that's going to take some time it is going to eventually roll out worldwide but it's going to take approval from local governments and governments across the world in order for apple to get this approved worldwide so driver's license and ids feature i'm hoping to see the first glance at this with 15.5 that is definitely in the realm of possibilities now another thing to expect is private relay will most likely step out of beta now the software has been somewhat finicky since the first launch with ios 15 but it's been in beta for quite some time so i'm hoping that it will be stepping out of beta with iOS 15.5. We'll have to wait and see, but looking forward to that as well. Now, I also wanna talk about a new notification style prompt. Now we've seen evidence that Apple will most likely be working on a new notification prompt style. As you can see right here, the first glance we saw this was with iOS 15.4 within the wallet application. But there's been evidence that found that Apple is also working on the notes application, a new style like this for the prompts, also for the reminders application and so on podcasts and we'll see most likely a different style notification prompt when you launch apps giving you a brief description and some information in regards to the application which looks pretty nice in my opinion let me know what you think about this one in the comments down below now the next thing i want to talk about is something that is in the realm of possibilities but apple has been working on for many many years and we still haven't seen this happen but we did see the first glance at it with 15.4 and apple watch so os recovery now os recovery should allow you to restore an iphone that's stuck in recovery mode or in a constant boot loop using for example an ipad right so you can restore an ipad or an iphone using each other so if the ipad is in recovery mode you can go ahead and use your iphone to wirelessly without the need of of a computer restore that ipad and as you know apple is working on a true wireless feature for the iphone in the future most likely there will be no wires attached to the iphone barely anyone connects their iphone to their computer anymore to restore so an over-the-air troubleshooting tool like os recovery is definitely needed for a truly wireless future now will this be making its debut with 15.5 it is hard to tell but we did see evidence of this within ios 15.4 in case you didn't know if your apple watch stops working and you get the red exclamation mark on the screen and it's stuck on a recovery mode you can actually use your iphone to restore your apple watch without the need of taking your Apple Watch into Apple or anything like that. So this is the first glance at this, at the OS recovery, if you will, and how it could work in the near future from iPhone to iPhone, or iPad to iPad, iPhone to iPad, iPad to iPhone, and so on. So OS recovery is a feature that I hope Apple integrates within iOS 15.5. As I mentioned, we've seen the first glance at this, with 15.4 now this year there'll most likely be a few devices that won't make it to ios 16 and those devices will most likely be the older devices as per usual the iphone se first generation iphone 6s and the iphone 6s plus so if apple integrates the os recovery now maybe those older devices 
can also take advantage of this for years to come as well. Now, keep in mind, as I mentioned, Apple will most likely release minor updates in between 15.4 and 15.5. So let's talk about the next beta and when we can expect 15.5 to roll out to the general public. So if history is any indication, Apple will most likely roll out the first beta for iOS 15.5 next week on March 21st or 22nd and now apple could release it at any moment but these two days make the most sense to me apple is on a roll they continue to release new software back to back and we already have ios 15.4 as i mentioned has been out for about five days as of the filming of this video so it makes sense for apple to begin rolling out the next major update and start testing because if Mark Gurman is right, which is one of the most reliable sources. iOS 15.5 should hit your devices in the June timeframe. Now, what happens in June? Well, WWDC, also iOS 16 beta 1, will most likely make its debut the first or second week of June. Most likely the second week of June, we'll see the first beta for iOS 16. So Apple will be shifting their attention entirely to iOS 16. So it makes sense to 15.5 will launch towards the beginning or mid-June this year. So let me know what you're looking forward to with iOS 15.5 or are you just simply looking over to iOS 16 at this point? Thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.